what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we're going to be talking about why the creeper might have scars on him in this film since a lot of you guys left similar comments on my last video and got a lot of messages from you guys on my social media instagram twitter and facebook talking about why he might have these scars not sure if this is the same person maybe some of you talked to each other and you just reached out to me uh but basically you guys have theorized that what if the creeper can be harmed by his own weapons so that's what i'll talk about in this video and then as you see in the thumbnail the other thing i want to propose is something that someone else brought up to me which is the creeper being played by multiple people throughout the film since a lot of us are still concerned about whether or not jonathan breck will be the creeper me myself personally i've gotten to the point where i just would now want to see what this thing is going to look like now since it's 23 years later which is what we're assuming it's going to be what is it going to look like now um who is playing it if it's a new actor and how how much how similar will it look to the other in incarnations that we've seen throughout the last three films that were played by jonathan breck which we know so the theory that has been proposed to me regarding this is that since we're going to be presumably picking up 23 years later the creeper as we saw at the end of jeepers creepers 2 was relatively smaller reduced to nothing simply but skin and bones by that point so when he wakes up or when it wakes up who's to say that the creeper because you have it takes time to lose all that it takes time to lose all that muscle mass all that weight like that and just decay and rot away and be left to nothing but that it takes time to do all that so it of course should take time for you to get all that back that would then leave the door open to explore his origins a bit more and that would tie into why we might see multiple actors playing the creeper such as a richard brake who i've talked about in the past has been speculated to be portraying the creeper in this film because of the fact that the face prosthetics that have been seen behind the scenes people think that looks like richard brake richard brake as i pointed out is a lot thinner than jonathan breck so maybe they're going to use a thinner actor to portray the creeper his the first time he wakes up to go along with how thin he looks at the end of the second film and then as he's going through the movie as the film progresses and he's killing people that's when he'll that's when he'll start gaining his muscle mass start gaining some of the features that we know he has some of the features that he probably won't have all the way since he's so much smaller he'll just look different in a way since he's smaller now and he's he's gonna have to eat and eat and eat to get back to that strength that he was at that we saw in the first three films so then that would leave the door open for richard brake someone who's thinner than jonathan breck to play the creeper but again they could also just not do this and they could have someone else entirely play the creeper and not do this idea that would leave the door open for someone like a thinner person like richard brake to play the creeper and then down the road in the film we end up seeing the creeper fill out more he gains some of that uh more definition and tone to his body and then that's when you're introduced to a character or an actor like a jonathan breck back in the makeup once again that doesn't mean this will be jonathan breck but that's just again something that could be explored we might see the creeper start off relatively smaller than what we're used to and he'll start to basically flesh himself out as he's eating these parts and this will be part of building up his origins because we haven't seen what this thing looks like actually in a 23 year later sequence when he first gets up or when it first gets up he very well could go through a process like this where he has to or where it has to basically regain that stature that it was at previously by eating its way through the things that it wants to eat from and that's how it'll get back to looking like a jonathan breck not to say that jonathan breck will be the one in the costume again but i think that's a very interesting theory and that would explain why we might have multiple actors if that's the route they're going because the other thing that it could be is you have you don't just have multiple actors that could play the creeper you multiple people are in the creeper makeup in many parts of the films over the over the course of this franchise because you have the many stunt doubles that would do the stunt work you have jonathan breck himself so keep that in mind we're we're guaranteed to see many people in this in this makeup anyway but 
and maybe there's two different actors portraying it because of the theory that we might see him start off or see it start out relatively small and then flesh its way out and bulk up as it's eating its victims along the way getting to the horror hound festival and then maybe jonathan breck will be the final form that we see so i like that theory that was proposed to me and then again getting back to the whole weapons thing people are stating to me that perhaps the creeper will have scars on his chest from his encounter with the taggart boys particularly taggart senior played by ray wise is because of the fact that the harpoon or the post puncher was in fact led by the creeper's weapon that taggart found in his in his corn or in his crops so maybe the fact that his own weapon was used against him and there's some type of witchcraft or something involved with that some type of powers clearly because we see it, it literally darts out of taggart's hand in his living room maybe there's something going on with his weapons that would tie into him getting hurt maybe his own weapons are the only thing that would leave such a scar like that because like i've already stated if he has the or if it has the ability to regenerate parts there is no real reason this thing should have scars but maybe when it's damaged by its own weapons that it created and it's used against it that leaves damage or that'll leave noticeable scars because it's being injured by something it created why that is that would have to be explored in the film and then of course that would lead into more of it going into the supernatural routes of the of the franchise since there's clearly supernatural sap, supernatural stuff going on anyway when something such as this is walking around town <laughs> something like this is walking around town so it's not 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 a far-fetched scenario that that they could explore going into the weapons a bit more we know the weapons are going to be featured so maybe we'll find out that if you if, if its weapons are used against it that's some of the ways it can be damaged for a long period of time and it'll leave visible scars as we'll see in the film so i like that idea and i like that rationale as to why he might have scars on him because again i did not really get why he would have scars but a lot of you proposed that to me and i like that idea a lot that maybe his weapons will leave noticeable damage on him but let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and miss a video in the description i have links on my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'll have me to cover in the future down in the comment section i have a link to the facebook group please join this group if you want to stay up to date on anything regarding jeepers creepers or just talk horror in general with all of that in mind guys i will see you in the next video